This is a quick overview of the Sandcats in SMB3. We're going to cover who we already know, a quick discussion of each player, and a potential lineup for the team. Time skips in the description. Marsha Brown comes over from the Sandcats to be the headliner on this team, escaping Ronda Horn's shadow, maybe a little Kyrie and Marsha there. Dolph Stake fits like a glove on this team with his strengths and speed and defense. He moved over from the Herbosaurs. Hercules Bentley is now a Sandcat, coming from the Nemesis. Jess Fowl is here from the Grapplers. Rodney Park you see down the list a bit, formerly a Moonstar. Winston Draper switches over from the Moose, and Stracy Wickers is last on the list, coming from the Wild Pigs. For pitchers, you see Candy Sweet from the Buzzards, Maverick McMahon from the Free Booters and Gemma Yago, formerly a Platypi. None of their stats have been adjusted or anything like that, although a few have been awarded a trait, which I will speculate on in the next section. So, quick discussion on each player. Marsha is your stud, highest overall on the team, highest salary. She's only 28. Your only other A is Dolph. He has the utility trait. As far as I know, these traits haven't been explained exactly. I believe there are 16 and they adjust player stats in certain situations. Dolph being a player with a lot of position flexibility, I'm taking a guess that this allows him to play all his positions without any stat penalty. In Bentley, you see the worst speed on the team, not close. Second slowest value is this 52 from Draper, ignoring pitchers. Great power from Bentley though, and a solid glove. Just foul. Speed, glove, bit of pop. She has low pitch, so her hitting stats are probably boosted when attacking a pitch, maybe bottom third of the zone, maybe even below the zone. First new player, Knox Oxensoxen. Great name. No power at all, but busted and everything else. 90s and 70s. Super Samson, center field, insane speed and defense. Didn't think anyone could supplant Dolph Stake in center, but Samson does it easily. Just make sure to never cut his hair. Chip Duffers, middle infield, very comparable to Samson, bit more contact, bit less fielding. Kara Kawaguchi, a third baseman, good speed and arm, but meh hitting. Our guy Rodney, still with no power and he's been stuck with bad jumps. Probably a lower fielding stat when jumping for the ball, so that's a bummer for a short stop. Tig Tantrum, stats are mad, but good speed and RBI man, probably boosted hitting with running and scoring position, good bench piece. Draper, fourth most pop on the team, just less contact than most of them. Oldest hitter at 33, lot of youth on this team. Gia Axelson, C player, good contact, just doesn't have the speed and defense. Stracy, third most pop on the team, worst overall, lowest contact, low speed for this squad, and her trademark poor arm and defense. On to the pitchers. Kerwin Arches comes from being the Sirloin's fourth starter to headline this squad, oldest guy on the team at 36. Bibi Takabasai, five pitch mix, awful accuracy, that's a hazard. There's Sweet, average to below in everything. Trey Mondo, five pitches, low stats, but does have K man, probably a boost with two strikes. Also, is only 19, he's a baby. Gasser Morris, four pitches, 95 velo, good accuracy and specialist. What is this? Maybe a boost against lefties? McMahon, second highest salary, crazy spinners, good velo. Yago's a C, formerly the second best arm in the Platy's pen, now pulling mop up duties here. Walk prone and K man, lower accuracy with three balls is walk prone. Ice Vayner, great stuff, bit low with accuracy, but composed, so maybe high pressure doesn't affect him? Alright, here's my proposal for a lineup. Not knowing exactly how the changes to gameplay will affect the value of certain stats. Dolph, Brown, Bentley, Fowl, gotta get those studs to the plate. Draper, Oxen, Soxen, Duffers, Sampson, Pitcher. If playing with the DH, probably put Bentley there, slide Fowl to her natural spot, and stick Kawaguchi in the 9 slot. Beautiful. What do you guys think of the Sandcats? Which team are you most excited for? Comment! If you want to see more of these, like and subscribe. I'm trying to get 10 subs. First goal. Help me out.